Okay, so let's do a walkthrough of the to-do list seven pack. So this is the seven pack here. We've got the lined list, the blank boxes, the box bullets, the dated to-do list bullets, today's plan and top priority. So there's seven different styles and every one of them is its own 50 sectioned notebook. And it's like your forever notebook. You can just copy them and use them over and over again in for all different things. So let's just have a quick look at what is here. So uh, basically you start at page one, which is the cover page. And um, if you tap on that, it'll take you to the next page or just swipe, whichever you prefer. Every one of these, these are 50 sections here. And as you can see, they take you to the page that will be a blank page. You write what each of your to-do list is and then you tap on the um, hyperlink and it takes you straight to the page. <clears throat> Popped your heading up there and this style is obviously the lined list. So these are the three indexes. This one takes you home, as you can see. This one takes you to your extra templates. So you can go to any one of these and you can copy them. Um, in On the Remarkable, the way we do it is we use the duplicate function. I'll, I'll show you a workaround for that in a minute because the latest update has changed the way you need to deal with this at the moment. Let's go back to our three indexes page. And the third index, it is the same. It's here behind the menu, but it's also the same as this index here. So these two indexes are the same. When you tap on templates, it will take you to, and in all of my PDFs, my large PDFs, um, there's always a menu here behind the uh, menu bar and it'll access certain things that you can customize. I like to have a customization um, menu so that you can get to all the bits and pieces that you need. Yes, yeah, so basically the seven pack is there's seven styles that you get, um, which I showed you at the beginning. There's three indexes, there's 50 sections, and everything's hyperlinked, which is really cool. So let's have a look at, let's hop out of the lined list. This is the lined list. Um, and let's go to the blank boxes. Now, um, let's go here to the seven pack. Again, 50 sections, seven styles, hyperlinks. Look, you, don't, you won't need another to-do list, I don't think, unless there's some reason you want a different style. Um, and I do want to talk to you about the workarounds that there um, needs to be in version 3.0, they brought out a software update where this page view now doesn't take you onto the page that you're on. So if you're on page 50 and you press that square, it takes you back here to page one. I'll show you. Let's go to page, let's go down to number 48. Now, when we go here, you can see that this is page 50. When I go to this, the page view, see how it puts you on page one, five, nine. It doesn't work. It's not working currently. I'm sure they'll fix it in an update, but it's currently not working. But I've got two workarounds for you. There was only one, but in the last beta update, there's another one. So that's pretty cool. We will have a look at that workaround. Um, and I've got to go to a different notebook to show you that. A different to-do list but let me just show you these styles quickly the boxed bullets these are the box bullets you've got all your checklist and your list boxes down here then I don't know if you are like me but I love ticking things off and you know what sometimes I'll even add something that wasn't on my list just so I can tick it off <laughs> and then you've got space to write down the bottom so that's the boxed bullets the dated to do is you can all write all your list here. This gives you a little bit, a few more options. You can tick them off or cross them off for a bring forward. If that's the way you operate, you can bring them forward then to the next list. You can you can number them down here if you want, and you can also date them as well um, if that's important to your process. So there's that's the data to do. The list bullets, just a great big list of bullets, <laughs> and again you can use them to tick off if you want. 
you can actually have a whole system of um, symbols that mean different things um, or not. You can just use them and then you can, the next day, obviously every booklet has these, um, your menu, right? They're all the same. They have the menu you go to. This one will obviously be blank. And then you just go to a new, new list and you can start again. So that is the list bullets. So today's plan, here we go. Let's go here and have a look. It's got your today's plan, your priorities, your activities, your tasks, your notes and your goals. And then you can fill that out. And again, you just go to whichever day, you, you, you go to whichever list, you give your list a name and then you go for the new one, the new list. So that's to, um, today's plan and the top priorities is the seventh one. Um, you, it's got your top priorities, your appointments, your today to do, tomorrow to do and your notes. So you can think of all the things that you need and write it all down. And that's the format of the whole document um, as it is with all the others. And you just fill in your index item here and then you'll know you can always get to it and you'll know it will have on there what you need. So this, this could be called Mother's Day. We've got Mother's Day coming up. So this this actually, and, and, and of course the index is a page like any other. You can just edit text on it. Um, we could call this Mother's Day. And it would be, it would have all the things on it that I need to do for Mother's Day. Um, but yeah, however it is you work, everyone works differently. Of course, every document has the three index indexes and out of the seven styles, there's one style in here, the other six styles in every pack, you've got access to the other six styles. Go to today's plan. Um, again, we have this issue that it won't bring you up to this page to duplicate it. So now I'm I'll, I will show you the workaround. Let me just go to... I just pressed that twice, that's why that came up. Let me go to the lined list and let me just go to my notes, the workaround. So here's my notes on the workaround. So this is the page view, four squares, hamburger. Look, technically you can say it's not a hamburger because it's not three lines. Um, whatever you wanna call this, this icon, this is the icon here and it gives you the page view. So if I click on it, it's gonna give you a page view, right? And just bear with me while we have a look at the number. We're on page five. If we just say we go over here, let's go to, um, this will be page 35, I think, but it's number 33. So let's just go there. And, oh, it's page 38, but that's okay. Page 38 of 62. Now write on it just so you can see what I'm talking about. When I go to the grid, the page view, you can see it's not showing you page 38. This is, um, this happened when version three came out. It stopped putting you on your page when you come here to this page view. So I fiddled around with it for a while and I found a workaround and the workaround, the first workaround was, I'm on page 38 as you know, if I add a note page, for some reason, because I think it's because it's a native page, it speaks to the Remarkable. And as soon as I now press the page view, see how it's put me now in the location of where I was, which was page 38. So look, I leave it there for a little while while I'm working, just so that it's easier for me, and I delete it later. Up to you what you do. But here's the deal, all right, page 38. Let's go back for a second to the index, and let's just, I want to show you now, I just want to be in a different space. So this is number 21, and it's going to be page, that's me touching all the buttons, don't worry. That's going to be on page probably 25 or something, something like that. All right, let's go page 26. I was close. So it's number, did I say 31? Page 26. All right, let's do a big circle around it so we can see it when we get to the page view. Now, when I go to the page view, you can see that we can't see it because again, it's just remembering the last place we were when we put this 
inserted this blank page. So here's the fix that I found since the beta update. I'm a beta tester and the beta update. Here's the fix. If I go, just, just go out of the document, I don't have to do anything else. I come back into the document. Hello. Sometimes, see how it's synchronizing right now down here? I've noticed that when it's synchronizing, I can't do anything else. So that, that's what was happening there. When I come back into the document, now if I go to page view, guess what happens? Look at that, I'm there. I'll show you that once more. I don't have to insert a blank page anymore. I can just exit and re-enter the document without doing anything in between. So if I come, uh, no, actually what I wanna do is if I go to the home index, and just for the sake of it, let's come down here to this one. Let's just write this one. Um, and we'll do, it's easier to see on the grid view. And I'm gonna do a big cloud around it. Right, when I go to the page view, you won't see that. See how you can't see that? It's not there. It's showing the last one that we exited the document on. So if I'm back here again, I'll show you. All you do is exit. Now, it's going to update. See down here, this is one of the sync, syncing. See, when this arrow, just, when this disappears, we'll be able to go back into the document. But there's no point in me pressing it right now. There we go. It's disappeared. Now, when I touch it, I'll be back there. But now, when I go to page view, see how it puts me here? So that's the second workaround. So I will show you that now, just in summary form, just to finish off um, the workarounds. Is this the page? No, I didn't put it on that page. In summary form, just to finish off, the to-do pack, this is it here, and the workarounds. Just remember the paper, the screen is like tissue paper. Don't, don't press hard, it won't, it doesn't work when you press hard like that. You have to just go very light and back again. All right, so this is the page view here. And the workaround is number one, remember, add a note page. And number two was close the document, see here? Oh, the add a note page, that's actually, my bad. That one's the add a note page. This one is to close the document. Give it a second to update down here. If you're not a beta tester, you may not have this improved sync. It is a lot faster, the sync. Open it again. And then when you go to, pardon me, when you go to the hamburger or the page view icon, you can see that it's put us back in there because we were down in page 80 or down in page 50 or whatever. All right, so they're the two workarounds. Add a note page here or close the document there easy fixed it will then help you navigate i know it's a couple of extra keystrokes a couple of extra actions but it's the only way to get around a big document right now so that's it that is the let me go here that is the to do seven pack seven different styles 50 sections all hyperlinked three indexes to keep you going remember your workarounds because in any large pdf that you have you're going to need to use that if you're updated to version three or beyond Awesome. Any love on the channel would be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much. Bye.